Till now, we have studied Newton's laws only for particles, where all the mass of the object was concentrated only at one point. But what about a situation where we apply a force to a rigid body which is not a point mass? The motion of such an object is as per our everyday experience. But if we focus only on the part where the force was applied, we see that its motion is rather strange. If we apply a force to a particle, we don't expect it to move like this. So how do we explain such a motion of this part of the object? Note that if we consider this object to be made of small parts like this, then each part is not free to move independently, but is constrained to move together with all other parts. So when this part tries to move in a straight line, the internal tension between the different parts alters the motion of this part. And as per Newton's third law, this part exerts equal and opposite force on the other part and causes it to move. So the motion of a system of particles is a result of the complex interactions of the internal forces. But interestingly, this complex motion is still governed by Newton's second law.